Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kat, and for today, we have another unboxing. This is the August unboxing of the Copacetic Cosmetics Convert box, and for funsies, at the very end, I'm gonna give you guys some bonus swatches of the two newest palettes that I have from Copacetic Cosmetics. We have the Companion Palette, which was a collab between Copacetic and M. Jones, and then we also have the Streamside Palette, which was a collab between Copacetic and Rocky Makeup. So, super excited to do those with you guys at the very end, I mean, and look, at this, look at this color story. Just all the shimmers. Oof. All right, that's what you guys have to look forward to at the very end. But let's get through this unboxing of the August box. In case you're new here, the way that the Convert box works is that you get to have five items, three of which are full-size items that are kind of known, where you can fill out a form if you want to, to kind of pick and choose. So one is a quad. You don't get to pick and choose on that one. That one's picked for you. But you do get to pick between a couple different lippies, as well as a couple different nail polish shades. Then you have a fourth full-size item, and that is kind of a mystery item where you don't really know what it's going to be. And then you have a fifth tester size item. So five total items, it's 40 bucks, really not bad. All right, so first up, I like to do the trial size items usually first, and they are almost always some sort of body product. And so for this time we have a shimmer body spray, orange creamsicle, and it does, ooh, okay, I gotta shake it up. <laughs> there are sparkles, they are not kidding. <laughs> oh wow, look at that, all right. It's got that, that cool like swirl, going on. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna spritz it on my non-swatching arm. Ooh, that is a strong, strong orange creamsicle smell. And it does leave some little light sparkles. Nothing too crazy, just very light, which is great. I mean, this is, this is a really good summer product. In the, in the bottle, like, you think it's gonna be some thick glitter the lightest of speckles. That is really, really nice. All right, off to a great start. So next up, uh, I see the lippy product, and mine looks like a lip gloss, and this is in the shade Picture Day. Just a very nice, kind of coppery, orangish shade. It does have some pink and gold glitters in there. So this is the shade right here. It is coming across ever so slightly deeper in the camera than what it is in real life. Okay. It does have a little bit of a sweeter smell, but it is definitely not nearly as strong as the orange smell, because that is primarily what I'm getting. So just ever so slight a sweet scent to the lip gloss. So next up we have the nail polish, and it looks like for the nail polish I have another matte cream shade, and this is chalkboard, which is accurate because it is just pure white. <laughs> so this is the back of it, so you can see. And then that is the fun design that they have on the front of all of their nail polishes. So definitely don't have just a pure white shade from Copacetic Cosmetics yet, so that is super duper fun. I am, I am looking forward to that. I have a whole bunch of other kind of cream shades, so it's going to be fun to have that one as well. And then we have the next mystery item, which looks to me like a highlighter. It is a highlighter, and this is in the shade School Bus, so I have a, <laughs> I think it's going to be yellow. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, yellow doesn't begin to describe it. Uh, that is the yellowest of the yellow, and I'm gonna bring it in close because it has an actual school bus etched into it. Look at how cute that is with the school bus on the front, and it is just the yellowest of the yellow, so we'll go ahead and swatch that guy real quick. And there you go. Very nice pigmented shade on there. Does come across a bit more gold on the swatch, so it looks like it's got a bit of a yellow to orange look to it. So that is very, very fun. And as with all of the Copacetic Cosmetics highlighters, they are a little bit of a thicker consistency, and so if you go in with your fingers, it will be very, very pigmented. But if you use a brush, it blends out beautifully, just gives a very nice light glow, kind of similar to what I've got going on right now. So very, very nice. I'm excited for that. And then the final item in the box is the quad. So it definitely seems to me like the whole box is very much back to school themed, which is super fun. I'm not in school anymore, but um, I think that for a lot of people that's that's a super cute theme. I wish I was going back to school. <laughs> not gonna lie, I kind of miss it. <laughs> 
but the quad is super cute. I'm going to show you guys the back first because it has a really cute kind of school design on it. So you can see it's got some like a calculator, some colored pencils, notebooks, pens, and I actually really really like that they colored the labels of each of the four shades because that is something that I am just like notorious for messing up that I will flip the shade names from what they actually are. So very much appreciate that they did that on there this time. <laughs> Saves me from just completely jacking that up. <laughs> so this is the color story and it is just all the school vibes. You've got what looks to be a very nice flaky glitter with like silver to almost kind of a cranberry reddish kind of look. Then you've got a really nice brownish red matte shade, and then you have a hot bubblegum pink matte shade, and then a gold shimmer. So it'll be very interesting to see how the gold shimmer differs from the highlighter. So we're gonna swatch all four shades real quick. So first up is the silver foil, which is very reminiscent of like pencil shavings. So I think that's what she was going for. And this is the shade Graphite. Oh, wow. That went on really, really nice. This is definitely one of the foiled glitters. I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous. Very, very nice. Just the most silver of silver shades. Then we have the matte brown shade, which is Teacher's Pet. Ooh, that is a lovely shade. Definitely a warm toned brown, a little bit of some reddish undertones to it, but like a really nice chestnutty brown. Then we have the bubblegum pink shade, which is eraser. So that's fitting of an eraser. And ooh, okay, that is definitely more pigmented than I was expecting it to show up. So that is a really nice light pastel pink, but very pigmented. I was not expecting it to do that. Let me uh, let me do one more swipey of the swatch. That is that is awesome for a pink. Really impressed with that. Sometimes pinks can go really wrong, <laughs> and they just don't show up at all. So that was a great first swatch already. And then we go into the gold shade, which is number two. So that is your also other pencil. <laughs> so it seems like okay, this whole palette is very much around a pencil. You've got the pencil shavings, you know, from from the lead at the beginning, then you've got the eraser with the pink, you've got the wood base to the pencil, and now we've got the gold shade. So this is number two. It is a pigmented gold. That is very solidly opaque with just the one swatch on there. Very nice shimmer. It doesn't have a shift, but you can already see just how much more pigmented this gold is to the highlighter. This is definitely much more of an appropriate highlighter shade now that I've swatched this one because I was like, that might be too dark. Nope, it's great. <laughs> so this is a really, really nice gold. That whole palette is just absolutely gorgeous. This foil shade though, nailed it. Absolutely love that shade. That is really, really nice. But yeah, really solid box again. Like I feel like the last like three or four months have just been like continuously nailing it as far as the palettes go, the nail polishes, the lip glosses, all of it, just so, so good. So that was the whole box, all five items, but let's get into the big mamma jamma of swatching these guys. So I think we'll go into the companion first because that one came out sooner than the Streamside did. Streamside was the newest, newest palette that came out that was a collab palette. So we will go into the Companion, and the really awesome thing about the Companion palette is that M. Jones, when she curated it with Copacetic, all of the names of the shades that are on the back are all different pets and companions and friends, so it had a very personal meaning to her, as well as the picture of the pit bull on the front. Just absolutely gorgeous, really loved the sentiment behind it. I mean, if I was ever able to curate a palette, I would for sure want to have Rogue and Falco represented on there. So I absolutely love that they did that and just had something true to the family that was M. Jones's pet. So I absolutely love that. So let's get into all of these awesome shades. They are all different types of formulas of metallics, foiled glitters, all of it. 
So let's just jump right in. And I guarantee you, again, I'm gonna mess up the order of the shades, but I'm gonna do my best. So the middle shade will get right on every single one, but uh, the right and left, I, I don't know. So, all right, I'm gonna start off with what I think is Nina, which is this really nice light peach shade. And this is definitely one of the thicker metallic shades, but it's a really nice pastel, very nice topper shade. And definitely, so the, the companion name of the palette was a bit of like a double entendre. So it was meant to be that you had the companions that were actual real life companions for M. Jones, but then it's also meant to be that this palette is a companion palette to other palettes you might own. So a lot of topper shades, a lot of good shades to kind of either bring a little bit of sparkle to the look or anything like that. So it's, it's not meant to be a standalone, it's meant to be a companion palette. So this first shade has really, really nice peach undertones, very much a sheer topper with just ever so slight peachy to white kind of glittery shimmer on there. Then the shade in the middle is Lexi and Lexi is a mint metallic and this is not of the glitter formula, so you can definitely see it's so much more opaque. Really, really nice shade. Just, I mean, oh man, look, look at that as it's trying to focus the gleam of that mint. That is gorgeous. Oh man, those two shades alone already would be super duper pretty together. If you had like a nice light peach matte shade to go with this mint green and then had this as a topper, over the top of that that peach tone that would be super duper pretty so these are already really nice and then i think this next one is zoe which is a light purple glitter shade and this one is one of the more wet kind of glitter shades and so it's it's not quite the same with how you would pack it on there you want to do a little bit more of a pressing it in and then lightly smoothing it down. And so these are the shades that when I first came across Copacetic Cosmetics, I struggled a little bit with, but once you get to know how to use the formula, you can get a really nice topper shade with those. So you can definitely see how it's like a light purple lilac with a little bit of a pink undertone and a little bit of blue glitter. So there it is. Very, very nice. I absolutely love that. That's such a pretty lilac shade. I would recommend using your finger anytime that you are using the flaky glitter shades from Copacetic Cosmetics because then you can really nicely kind of press it on rather than using a brush um, because I found that brushes don't always do the nicest job with application. Then in the second row, we have Kaylee, which is what looks to me like another flaky glitter. This is more of an iridescent white shade. I went a little ham on grabbing <laughs> that, so I'm gonna lightly press this guy. Ooh! Okay, this has like some peachy, champagne-y undertones with almost like a little bit of a lime green shift on there. That is very, very pretty. Look at that! So that is that shade. That is very, very pretty. That would also go really, really great with this mint metallic and with the peachy topper shade very very pretty just the transition of the shimmer on there then the middle shade is the shade megan and this is a very nice green shade this is the metallic green very very nice more of a medium mint to kind of turquoise shade so definitely deeper than this mint shade but not quite deep enough to be a turquoise but that is really, really pretty. Looks a bit sheer upon initial swatch, but definitely looks like it's buildable and then has like some goldish glitter in there. So that is the shade upon initial swatch. You can see just ever so slightly a little bit sheer, but definitely very buildable. Really pretty. Ooh, the way that those two foils are shimmering is just really pretty. <laughs> then we have another thicker metallic formula for the shade Olivia, which is also bit more of an iridescent shade. Looks like it's a bit of a peachy pink as well. A little bit of almost purplish undertones am I seeing on there? That is, that is a very nice metallic shade. Definitely a bit of a thicker consistency than what you're getting with either of these two shades, but a little bit more spreadable than what the foil glitters were. 
or the flaky glitters, sorry. Then we have what looks to be a duochrome metallic that is the shade Alexa. This guy looks like it's gonna go between purple and like a reddish cranberry shade. And a little bit of blue as well on there. So you can definitely see a little bit of the red shifting into purple. And then you can see a little bit of that bluish finish at the end. Very, very nice. I would say that that's more of a similar consistency to what the green one is. Starts off slightly more sheer, but definitely a buildable formula. All right, then we have another iridescent shade, and this guy looks like it's gonna be like green with some pink. Oh, it is pretty. So this is the shade Jessica. All right, definitely getting the minty green tones, and then I'm only seeing pink as I look at it. So, you can see there's your pink to green, pink again, once it focuses into that green. Man, that is a really lovely iridescent shade. And then the last metallic is Robin. I think I got the shade names right, because Robin definitely seems to fit this shade if we're going according to a bird. <laughs> because this is just the most pretty, kind of salmon-y pink color, almost a little bit of a corally undertone. And there is that. Again, a little bit more of a sheer shade like the green one, but definitely buildable. And this guy is just the smoothest kind of corally pink shade. So there you can see that really nice kind of coral finish on there. Very, very pretty. So from here down, we have the Companion palette. Really nice pastels, like at least three different formulas that are going on on here. I think my favorites, I love this mint metallic. I really like this peachy topper shade. I mean, it, it definitely blends into my skin because my skin is kind of peachy toned, but with a base tone on there, this is gonna be absolutely stunning. And I definitely like the duochrome. It's this purple shade. This other iridescent green, I mean, I like so many of them. I would literally just be relisting off of all of the shades. <laughs> all right, let us jump into the Streamside palette to finish this off. And this is the stunning color story that we have on here. Very, very pretty. All of your greens, blues, and golds. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna swatch these on this arm. And nice enough, she uh, put the names of the shades on the front of the palette this time. So I 100% know I am saying the correct shade name. <laughs> All of the assistance today, I really appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so first up we have what looks to be a gold flaky glitter and this is Sunfish. So I'm gonna lightly press that into my hand and then smoosh it down a little bit to really blend it in. And there is your foiled gold. Oh my goodness. That is the thing about these flaky glitters is that once you apply them, they are foils through and through. Just absolutely stunning. I mean, gold and silver right there. Awesome. <laughs> Next up we have the matte shade Lemna, which looks to be a beautiful evergreen shade. Yes. I mean, look at the pigment on that. That is just the strongest green pigment. I am so excited to use that. No joke, I literally own every single green palette that Copacetic Cosmetics has ever pushed out. Whether it be a quad, a highlighter palette, if it is green, I own it. <laughs> so if you guys ever want me to like show you just all of the greens, if you're really into greens, I'll show you all the green palettes. <laughs> then we have Riffle. It's got two Fs, so I don't think it's Rifle. I think it's Riffle. And it is a matte sky blue shade. Also, absolutely lovely, very nice and pigmented. That is great. These matte shades are really, really nice. Then we have a lighter kind of pastel blue matte shade that is Run. Ooh, that is a nice, this is more of your sky blue. This is, I think this one's more of like a chlorine blue, sky blue. <laughs> then we have um, another more flaky iridescent glitter this time, and this is Unionid. 
I am going to lightly press this guy down. New shade around. Oh yeah, that is a lovely white iridescent shade. I mean, looks like it's got a little bit of some gold, maybe some pink undertones to it in the lighting. Also like water, just the best foils. Oh my goodness. All right, then we have another kind of mustardy matte shade that is Spatter Dock. There we go. A little bit of a lighter pigmentation, so you definitely would need to build that up a little bit more. I would say your two deepest tones are the most pigmented. The sky blue and the mustard yellow um, are a little bit more sheer upon initial swatch, and so you would need to build them up. So you can kind of see the difference in opacity on these two matte shades versus these two, but they're definitely gonna be buildable shades for sure, because that's still a decent amount of pigmentation on there. Then, whew, this next metallic I am very interested in. It is called Darter, and it looks... <sighs> okay, this is a silver foil. <laughs> and it is nice. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is like a Tin Man. That is awesome. And it's a normal metallic formula, so for it to be holding up shimmer-wise next to your foils is just very, very nice. That is, that is a gorgeous shade. Man, I love a good metallic silver. All the cool tones. All right, ooh, okay. Um, I'm only saying oof that way because the name is gonna be, I'm probably gonna not say this right. Spirodella, Spirodella? I don't know, but it is a evergreen metallic shade. It looks like it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. It is, oh my gosh, look at it. Whew, okay. So it is a darker green metallic with silver glitter in there. Also starts off a little bit more on the sheer side, but you would easily be able to build that up or use it as a topper shade, like on top of your evergreen shade up top there. That would be stunning either way. <laughs> All right, and then the last shade is going to be a matte gray shade called Pool. There we go. Interestingly enough, um, that gray shade is a little bit more warm toned than I was expecting. And I'm gonna go in with a second swatch on there just to confirm that it is more. Yeah, it's got a bit of a plummy undertone to that gray. Still really, really nice, but definitely slightly more warm toned than like a gunmetal gray would be. Um, so especially when it's up against a very cool toned silver like this, it comes across as a bit more of a warm toned gray, but still really, really pretty. So this, this is the entirety of the palette and I think it's absolutely stunning. This is all of the shades all together and oh man, that was super duper fun. I would love to know what you guys think. What do you think of the shades that are in the subscription box for August? What do you think of the companion palette? What do you think of the Streamside palette? All of it, I would love to know your thoughts. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you did not, let me know either way. And if you made it to the end of the video and you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you would kick a subscribe my way. We do unboxings every month of the Copacetic subscription box. We also talk a ton about other indie brands, colorful makeup, shimmers, all the swatches, you name it, it is here. And I would just love it if you would join my family here on YouTube. And other than that, you guys just go have a good one.